I think we're dealing with any client, it's always important to have a really succinct brief that they've signed off on, that we are all working off the same page. Also, that for them to know exactly what they're gonna get. things you think we need, things you want us to invest in. You know, you've got to imagine that in a year's time the company's going to be double the size. What is going to break? And how do we try and stop that breaking? All right, good luck everyone. Let's get into it. it. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, so the Tab are a student um, publishing organisation that work across the UK. Effectively, we were looking to create a kind of short documentary piece um, that was highlighting the, the problem of money mulling and the effects that has on students and the knock-on effects on kind of wider society. So for the Tab, I was the lead editor on this, so I constructed the first draft, eight-minute documentary about money mulling. What is money mulling? Money mulling. <laughs> money mulling. Money mulling is money laundering. Okay. <laughs> What's money laundering? Money laundering. I don't know. Um, and effectively, it's just a fraudulent activity, and a money mule is someone who kind of takes illegal funds um, through a kind of criminal enterprise and they kind of funnel uh, that, that money gets back into the system or, or out the system, so to speak. And the main guy, mm -hmm. Harry, he was the kind of presenter. He was kind of like a vice esque fox type vibe for it. In terms of the graphics and stuff, they didn't really know where they wanted to take it so much. Mm -hmm. And so that left me the creative freedom to kind of create like a base to it. What are you up to today? Uh, today I am just running out a bunch of podcasts. We had a job where we had to film interviews with a lot of designers. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome. So today, uh, yeah. we, we had this job a little while ago where we had to talk about how sound influenced design. Yeah, which nice. for me, as a sound designer, was awesome. Part of the deliverables for that is to run out a bunch of podcasts. So Ooh. talk to them about what they like and what sounds they love. So just been finishing one with the head of the design museum. Mm -hmm. Really interesting, really nice guy. Good vibes. A lot to do, <laughs> but good vibes. The, oh my god, what? <laughs> it looks like you've got in a fight. It's a little nosebleed, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. What's a good looking thing like me doing in a place like this? <laughs> well, I'm not well. Today's the day. <laughs> I know who it does. Either you tell me what you're doing or you have to do a trick. How many times can you do a keepy up before? <laughs> we were kind of brought on by the, the tab. As a producer, I'm just trying to make everyone's life as easy as possible. Taking the brunt of the client side of things, um, translating that into an easy digestible format for crew that's working on the shoot days. It, I guess I'm, I'm pretty much a buffer for the team so that they don't mm -hmm. have to deal with the client directly, get all the information they need, all the, the assets that they need to make everything work without having to sift through needless crap. What is it? I saw there was a banana with some erectile dysfunction earlier. Yeah, erectile banana. Erectile banana? What was your process, Harry, for choosing a banana there? Uh, I just thought, what looks a bit like a willy? A banana looks a bit like a willy. <laughs> what other objects would you say look like willies that you could have chosen otherwise? Good question. Aubergine? Aubergine. Aubergine. Courgette? Courgette. I think I'm too good at this game. Classic penis, <laughs> 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 I think we're dealing with any client, it's always important to have a really succinct brief that they've signed off on, um, that we are all working off the same page, um, and also that for them to know exactly what they're gonna get a finished product, and that includes the iteration of edits, the kind of the amount of client sessions they may get, um, and, and what exactly they will get as a first draft, which I'm finding some clients absolutely have no idea what first draft means, which is just <laughs> bare bones of the picture. Um, <laughs> Not with any fancy bells and whistles on. Projects um, on the whole went really smoothly. Um, we, we went into it with like a really kind of clear storyboard of what we wanted to get out of filming, mm -hmm. and that translated to a kind of really kind of efficient editing process. So we ran a number of client sessions. We we got representatives from Tab in to ensure that what we were creating was in line with their brief, in line with the kind of creative vision that we had at the start of the project. I'm really, really proud of kind of what the team produced mm -hmm. um, and uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, an award-winning partnership with Tab moving forward.
<laughs> <laughs> Peter shapes. <laughs> <laughs>